So we got the bait cannon built, got it out on the beach. We've taken it out twice, more trial runs than anything. And um, I think uh, I'm really happy with the results. Here's some video of the first time we took it out and setting up the bait cannon and firing it off. Here I'm hooking up a portable air compressor to it. Uh, this shot we did at 110 PSI, which uh, proved to be a little bit high for this cannon. The, uh, the uh, line broke a couple of times on this first trip out, uh, shooting it that high. What we found was that 85 to 95 PSI seemed to be ideal. We got distance and uh, didn't sacrifice any line. So here's the video I promised. Uh, as you can see, I'm taking that line, uh, making it snug opening the bale and then tucking the line into that little piece of bungee cord it's on the upper right hand side there and you'll see me tucking it in in a second i did this to hold the line tight we wouldn't want it unraveling off the reel because that would create an unholy mess and probably snap the line when you launch it um, but we also want the line to be snug uh, when you fire the cannon All right, wait for it. And boom, there it goes. I fixed that, and I'll show you how I fixed that in a moment. But the line is still reeling off of that. And spool, it went out really far, probably about 160 yards. So if you noticed in the last video when I fired it, the uh, stand fell off, thing fell over on its side, and not really clean. So what I ended up doing was I added a... Uh, about a three inch section of two inch PVC, drilled the hole through it, and then added a uh, tractor clevis pin. So this lets me disassemble this, makes it easier to store and transport. Um, so I don't lose the clevis pin. I added a piece of uh, braided wire, the same stuff I use uh, on fishing leaders and crimped it on, um, and it's attached to the stand. So that way uh, I won't lose it. Now after that we worked out a few bugs, um, got the stand, I uh, actually devised a way to hold the stand on so that it wouldn't fall off when you fired the damn thing. Um, here's the next shot, the, um, this one went off to the right, this, uh, this is Fort Fisher in North Carolina and it tends to be a current that carries it north or to the left. So I fired it off to the right, you really can't see where it lands, um, but it was, a, it was a long shot. It was uh, probably at least 160, 170 yards, which in feet is way farther than I can cast. So one of the things that we do is we load the bait slug first and then charge it where they are more for safety. But here's that shot, and uh, it goes off to the right. It, it did get a fair amount of distance on it, um, just way too far to the right, as you can see. This next shot, I took it to a high angle, um, which was really, really impressive. Uh, you can see in this video that's coming up, the, uh, the bait slug just kind of disappearing off in the distance in the uh, left-hand side of the screen. So here we go. Uh, there's the shot. If you can see it going up into the air, it just disappears. And that was a really long shot. I was really pleased with that one. Now what was happening, uh, we had a lot of wind that was blowing south, so with these long shots, uh, the line was actually getting blown by the wind and carrying the bait south. So I did this next shot at a really low angle, and um, I still got a pretty impressive distance, I would say probably 80 yards or so, which is still further than I can cast. This shot we charged it up to 80 psi, and uh, it's a low charge, low angle. But um, it still went really well. It, it got a fair amount of distance and um, avoided the line getting dragged by the wind. So here's that shot at 80 PSI, low angle. There it goes. Give it a second, you'll see it hit right about the middle of the screen.
So overall, this thing has performed really well. I'm really pleased with the results. Um, I, we did come up with a few minor tweaks that helped a lot. Let me zoom this in and see if I can uh, show you what they are. Um, one of them is going to be this extension, 2-inch um, PVC. Uh, that'll prevent this whole thing from flying apart when we fire it. Uh, the other one was for this. I drilled two holes in this wood, added some tie wraps, so that's that's in there pretty solid. I can still open up this tie wrap to uh, change barrels if I want to, but um, overall I'm extremely happy with the, the way this is performed. And you'll probably see some more videos um, with uh, shooting lemons, apples, uh, tennis balls, destroying watermelons, and all kinds of neat things. So let's go back out. And of course, I've got this loaded with blank, but just to give you an idea of the amount of air that comes out of here. Make sure to subscribe and hit like if you like this video. Thank you.